Greetings, brothers and sisters. It's your weekly pastor's message. Uh, I guess I want to start our message this week with talking about something that I think has been on our minds a lot uh, recently and without, with no little controversy with it as well, and that has to do with the vaccine. So, um, so with the, the whole vaccine situation, uh, I think, well, what the, what the church has said is that you, you can elect to receive the vaccine, uh, that its connection with uh, an aborted stem cell line is uh, remote enough that, that it makes that, that possible. We're not happy with that because obviously we'd, we'd prefer to have a vaccine that did not um, originate from, from the destruction of innocent human life. But, but the church has, has studied that and said, you may, you may, receive, you may elect to receive this. And then uh, the church also says is that for, for uh, various reasons, you can elect not to receive it. And so here what the church has puts before us is, is uh, two choices that, that we can make based upon our informed conscience. And what I would like to, I guess, underline is the fact that, that uh, good people can choose to do either. And, and, that, and that what that also means is that two good people can disagree on whether one should receive the vaccine or not. And I think that's important to remember because, because this, this issue is so politicized and so divisive is that people like wondering like, well, what should I, you know, what should I do? Where should I go? What side should I be on? Well, we want to be on the Lord's side. And that means on the church's side. And so when the church says that you can choose to receive the vaccine or not to receive the vaccine, then both of those choices being made from an informed conscience are acceptable. And, and, and there's good people that have elected to do both. Um, and so, so with that being the case, is like when we approach this issue, when we talk about it with others, is we should keep that in mind. And it also means too, is that we need an abundance of charity around this uh, with, and with each other. Uh, so that so that when we speak, that that if we've elected to receive the vaccine or not to re receive the vaccine, that we don't villainize the other side, uh, because the church says that both choices are acceptable. So so we need an abundance of charity in in this in talking about it. We don't villainize the other side. We don't um, uh, we don't badmouth people who have gotten the vac vaccine or not gotten the vaccine. Uh, and so uh, we need to uh, we need to stick with the church, and this is where I think you know we have s such a good shepherd in our Archbishop, Archbishop Sample. He thinks and he prays with the church, with our Lord, and to stand with him, you know, of of, of, of what he says. And and this uh, obedience is something that is is a great gift for us. Uh, to uh, as as our Lord says routinely, in the, especially in the Old Testament, is that. Obedience is, is greater than sacrifice. Um, and so we, whatever our own personal convic convictions are, we should approach this with an ecclesial mind. That is, we, we allow the Lord's truth to, to inform us and to determine us. And so, um, uh, and so when the church says there's these two, these two acceptable choices to make, then we say, yeah, in my own personal conviction is, Yes, there's two choices that we can make, and good people can can uh, choose either one, um, and 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 to and to you know disagree on that. Um, but that 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 uh, difference of choice should never violate charity and the love that we have for one another. And so I, I want to put that out there. I want us to to think about that, pray about that, and to um, and if we found ourselves you know drifting into this kind of uh, uh, what the world wants is this kind of divisiveness and and gossip and bad mouthing all that is that we need to correct that in our in in our par parish family that that's that's not what we're about so um so you've he heard from me from your from your spiritual father about how we should we should treat each other as a, as as a family and so let's let's do that together on tuesday september 28th we will have will begin uh, the search for school parents. You know, when, when, when parent, parents send their kids to our school, 
Um, many, you know, our school is our primary uh, initiative of evangelization in the parish. And so this is a way of helping to connect school parents with the parish and with our Catholic faith. Uh, and so it'll be uh, on morning uh, after the morning drop-off for school, uh, be able to watch the search video and to just have time together to talk and, and to share. Um, and so in, in, encourage especially all, all those parents of, of younger kids. Uh, we will have uh, child care available uh, for, for those who have, who have little ones. And, and please come. It'll, it'll be on Tuesday morning, on, beginning on se September 28th. On September 30th, we have our back to school night. Uh, that'll be a great evening for the parents to come, come, into the, come to the school to, to hear about what, how the year has gone so far and, and hear from the principal and to be able to talk to their teachers or their, or their students. Uh, that, that'll also be an opportunity for case training. So anybody who, who um, uh, needs that training for working with our younger kids, this is our, our, our safe environment. Uh, program with the Archdiocese, uh, there'll be an opportunity to, to get uh, renewed in, the, in that certification as well. So Bible study resumes next week. Uh, it'll be Tuesday the 28th at 6.45 p.m. after the evening Mass. Um, and so it's, great, it's a great combination so you can come to the evening Mass and then go to Bible study, or you can do it on Wednesday morning after, after the morning Mass on the 29th at 9.15. Uh, the theme of this Bible study will, will be Jesus the Healer. So uh, it'll, it'll be taught by Julian Durko as well as our seminarian uh, Chin Yan Vo. And, and the, the theme is deliberate because, as you know, we're going to be going into Be Healed with Dr. Bob Schuch's book uh, this fall. And so you, you can re you'll be a part of that and the Bible study is all going to kind of fit together. Uh, so this will be a great uh, look at, at several healing accounts in the gospel. You can kind of do a deeper dive in those things uh, and to, to build your, uh, that, that uh, sense of what the Lord is doing. And you know, just, just as a pointer, uh, uh, something that, that I heard recently from Douglas Bushman, who's been giving talks to our priests um, in preparation for our convocation, is that... Is that one of the things about being healed by Christ is, is that is this personal, intimate awareness that He loves me, right? that He that He restores me, and and that gives rise to the whole Christian life of our own discipleship with Him. Uh, so so please come to the Bible study, uh, and and this it'll be eight eight lessons. Uh, it'll be a, it'll be a great a great. Uh, resource and, and a beautiful initiative to be a part of this fall. You know we're in the, the midst of our Kerygma preaching. Uh, that's will be the, these four Sundays. We had the first one last Sunday on the, on the first uh, stage of the Kerygma, the first, the first part of being created. Uh, and you notice you got a, you got a homily outline in there. Um, and so look forward to these next three, three Sundays. We'll, we'll, we'll be treating the uh, captured, which is the, the why everything went wrong, rescued by Jesus Christ and our response to Him in mission. Um, and so uh, we've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to, to get to those resources. So if for some reason you were away last week and, and weren't here for it, you can go to the website, you can find the outline and as well as the video and to, and to watch that and, and get caught up. Or if you, if you heard it and you just, you know, because I know I threw a lot at you, in the, in the homily to go back and listen again uh, to, to deepen uh, your own knowledge and love of, of, what, of what you heard. So, so this is, we're right in the midst of it right now, so please uh, feel, feel free to get caught up and, to, and to, to watch those videos. On October 5th, that'll be uh, two Sundays, two, two Tuesdays from now, uh, we have uh, our Tuesday talk, and this, this one will feature our seminarian, Chin Yan Vo, talking about Christian spirituality, as opposed to a lot of this, the word spirituality that you hear right now, often has New Age connotations with it. And, and so he's going to talk to us about how to distinguish um, kind of a true spirituality from a false one. So that'll be um, on October 5th, Tuesday night at, at 6.45. On October 6th, after the morning Mass, we are going to have uh, fun and games for the soul in the parish center after the morning Mass. Uh, this would be just to be a time to, to be together and to play games uh, and to have that fellowship. Uh, so I uh, encourage you all to, to participate in that if you, if you have a free uh, Wednesday morning. 
And coming up on October 23rd, Saturday night, we have our school auction. Uh, it's a great fundraiser for our school, and it's always a, a night of just, just a lot of fun. So I encourage you to come, buy a ticket, be part of a table. If you want to buy a table and invite your, invite your friends and family to, to be there, um, you just have to get, uh, call the school office, talk to, talk to Brooke, who's also our uh, director of school advancement, and they will um, we'll get, we'll get you hooked up with that. It'll be a, a great evening together. There'll be some uh, live auction items to bid on, some silent auction items. Uh, we are also currently selling raffle tickets Raffle tickets for three possible uh, beautiful va vacation packages. Uh, their their tickets are twenty five dollars each, and we're only selling fifteen hundred of them. So to to increase your chances of, of winning, uh, those are available after the masses, and uh, or or from the school office. So please uh, buy your raffle tickets and and put in for a, for a great vacation package. And just a word about the the silent auction is that the silent auction items are actually going to be uh, be able to bid online for them beginning October 16th. So the week before the auction, those items will be online. You can start your bidding and they will close the evening of the auction. If for some reason you, you can't make the, uh, the, the school auction October 23rd, you can still bid on the, on the silent items, uh, the silent auction items. And to find out more about our school auction, please go to the school website and uh, click on the information there. You'll find everything that you need. And don't forget our Kerygma retreat on October 16th. It's a morning retreat, a Saturday morning. It'll begin with mass, we'll have some testimonials. It'll be, a, I'll give you everybody a recap of what we've gone over in the Kerygma. And there'll be um, breakfast provided by the Knights of Columbus. Uh, so it'll be time for adoration and confession. Um, Father Dale Waddell, who's one of our retired priests, I should say senior priests, because priests usually don't re just retire. Uh, so he'll be there as well to help out with confessions so that you won't have to stay in line for, for too long. And I, I really want to highlight the fact that uh, our re this Krigma treat is family friendly. So ha we'll have breakout sessions for teens and for, for uh, our kids. Uh, if you have little ones in, the, in your arms, uh, please bring them as well. Uh, we, want it, we, want, uh, we want everyone to be there. And so if, if, uh, if the morning session gets to be a little bit too long, we have adoration at the end. So even if you, if you have a, a young one that just can't make it th through the whole way, it's, it's fine to leave early. But please, please come to the retreat. This is, this is a real launch. You know, after hearing about the whole kerygma and to be able to come to a, a time just dedicated for prayer and assimilating and what the Lord is going to put on your heart for that. What is what are the stirrings that he, that he will bring about? Um, from hearing the kerygma freshly um, and to, to see where we go from there. So, uh, so please come to the retreat October 16th. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you soon.